And uh, we are now being joined live from Johannesburg, South Africa, by David Newhouse, a former vicar of the Hebrew speakers in the Holy Land. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. It's good to see you again. Last time uh, we were in Jerusalem, and uh, unfortunately this time we're going to have to do it virtually. But uh, please share with us your thoughts on this uh, monumental visit and words from Pope Francis coming, uh, returning from Congo, South Sudan, and uh, really, really blatantly doubling down, saying that homosexuality should not be criminalized. That's a very big deal, and explain why. So first, maybe a little correction. This is not the first time that the church has said that homosexuality is not a crime. Uh, the church for already a long time is saying that homosexuals need, need to be treated as equal citizens in every country. And that homosexuality is certainly not a crime. The Pope is speaking to those countries, and there are unfortunately still many that punish homosexuals for being homosexuals, in some cases even with periods in prison or even execution. And once again, I would like to stress that the Catholic Church speaks out against such practices. That is not where the problem lies for the Catholic Church. Uh, all people should be treated with equality, with human rights, and with respect for who they are. Also, you've uh, you've lived in the Holy Land for a long time. I know you're now in South Africa, but earlier in the show, we interviewed a woman named Sally Azar, who was the first female pastor in the Holy Land. Could you shed some light on why that's also very uh, monumental here, specifically in the Holy Land? Well, I think that Sally, and I wish her best of congratulations, she expressed a fear that this might affect ecumenical relations. I certainly hope that it won't. Uh, I express my congratulations to her, and I think she expressed very, very well why this is something monumental in the Christian community, where we are still very patriarchal, and to see a woman in a leadership role is always something to celebrate. Of course, we in the Catholic Church have a very different idea of what it means to be a priest, and therefore we still are a, a, a church that has only a male priesthood. Understand. And um, anything else, any other insight that you, uh, you, that you want to lend to us uh, about you know, Pope Francis's visit and, and the work that he is doing as Pope right now? So one thing I would like to say, which I think is very, very important, within the Catholic Church, we are in a process that is called synodality. And really, this is something that Pope Francis has brought with a lot of enthusiasm and conviction, that we need to be listening to one another. We need to be listening to one another because it's only together that we constitute a community. And so I think that this is... Uh, the continuation of a revolution as the church becomes a body that is more and more representative of all in its ranks, in her ranks as church. Not only a pope, not only the bishop, not only the priests, but really listening to all the Catholic faithful and becoming more and more sensitive to the lives that they live and often lives plagued with a lot of trouble, a lot of violence, a lot of need for the support of the church. Thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you uh, in Israel again soon. Inshallah.